the old Dodge's home, saved from the woods deep in Maine. There she is, old Slanty. You remember her, right? Yeah, you remember old Slanty. You're looking at a one owner, one owner truck. Uh, since I pulled it home, a lot of people have recognized around town. It's a small town. They all know this truck. The guy was a pretty big name in town, and it's uh, just something you recognize, but everyone says they can't believe that the people got rid of something, that they don't get rid of anything. But today, well, yesterday was the day. It was time kiss the old Dodge goodbye he said 11 years well I'm stupid 11 years 2011 was the last time he said his dad died and left him the truck he drove it for a while but he decided to get a new truck in 2011 and he parked this one and it's sitting there ever since one thing he couldn't believe and i was pretty amazed is that he asked me what how could the tires still have air in them after that long so i don't know must have got that good air but as you can see Something happened to the cap, and uh, I don't really know what, but it's in rough shape. We got friends all over the place. I was taking the bolts off for this cap, and I was reaching in there to get the nut, and I wasn't realizing I was touching all the bees. I was touching them. They didn't sting me, though. They were nice ones. So everyone says, you can't scrap that. They say it about everything. Might say it about this stupid Subaru. Ain't worth nothing. But I'm going to listen to you this time. I don't mind, you know, on the older stuff, cleaning it up a little. I actually enjoy it when I have time, but. We're going to try a few things. We got fuel line unhooked because, ooh, I took a little sniff in the tank and it doesn't smell good, but why should it for that long, right? She's not bad. Definitely could be a lot worse for sitting that long. So, Frame solid. So I think we'll get the cap off for starters. That will be, uh, I'll just make it look 10 times better. I'm gonna clean it up. Clean the old white walls, the dog dishes. And uh, we'll see if it cranks over. Of course. I was unloading it, stepped on the brake pedal, and uh, she goes right to the floor, but what do you expect? We got... Hello? Floorboard. But look at the inside of this thing. Just a simple, simple little work truck. And uh, got 85,000. That's original. We know that. Not a crack in the dash. 
mirror just over time the glue heated up and see you later and it, you know what it doesn't smell in here at all it really does not even smell like an old truck there's really no scent looks like tried to save the floor over there a little bit of a little spray or something some undercoating AMFM what you're looking at there is a never smoked in nothing's ever touched that ashtray this later look at that never been used no AC just a two-wheel drive slant six cheapy very cheap 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 truck if you could only see how sticky the steering wheel is oh yeah you can see that Whoops, don't show your foot. Roll up windows. Just a man's truck, you know, just, just a good old truck. Jump in, do some work. Emblems, gone. The old car quest battery. We're, we're not showing anything. It ain't good. Wonder what happened. The oil pan rot off of it. Well, we're kissing just the end. Yep, there's a little bit on there. We got something we can throw in there, right? Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's not an AC compressor, that's a smog pump. It's seized right up. 1986 had some emissions he said just before he parked it wasn't running too well he brought it into the local shop and they put a new carburetor on it yeah you can see it too got a brandy new carb on it but he said after that never did run right again blue black smoke and coughed and farted and just didn't run good and he he just got sick of it so I don't know you guys say oh you should be able to sell that thing no problem you should be able to get good money I want it I want it come get it Come get it right after I get done. I always did kind of like this body style of Dodge, but never really cared for the drivetrains. Transmissions I never had good luck with, and these things had a few old plow trucks and not sure if I ever had a two-wheel drive slanty, but a lot of 318s. And everyone says, oh, too bad it didn't have the 318. Yeah, well, if it did, it probably wouldn't run too well anyway, so you'd be ripping it out anyway. So it don't matter. Rip that slant six, that transmission out of there. Put a 
new modern style drivetrain in it of some sort, dare I say LS. Lower it down a couple inches. Just leave those white walls right on it too. Dog dishes. Oh yeah. Be a nice little simple cruiser. Too bad about the cap because that would have been cool if it was in good shape. Well, starting to rain. We got a uh, little Debbie coming down the coast. Gonna soak us. Pretty much ends my fun for today. But stay tuned. We'll see what happens with the old slanty. See if it cranks up. You never know. Maybe you see me in a Dodge on the streets.